everyone and welcome back. My name is Anissa and today I finally had a time to do like a get ready with me slash pregnancy talk. Well, I have this app where you could track your pregnancy, like how far you are and the size of the baby and um, it's a nice app to have to kind of keep track. So it says here it's 22 weeks and six days which makes it on friday it would be 23 weeks and that is my 23 weeks belly is growing now but yeah i finally had the time to just sit and like to wake up since today I don't have any school or any work, I'm free, so I thought it would be nice to kind of just make a video just for fun. I'm actually going to try some of the new stuff that I already see in my goodie box crush, the crush box. It's like a subscription we have here where every three months, well, I basically have a lot of them and <laughs> that's just like few, I have other ones. So every three months you would get like a small box where they put different makeup items. So I'm gonna try some of these stuff today as I do my makeup. Good. So when I found out I was pregnant, I was maybe three weeks into the pregnancy when we found out and I've actually had no like what do you call it symptoms or whatever like I didn't have any morning sickness where I had to puke Apuchi not now no so yeah, I didn't have any morning sickness. I was mainly feeling very tired. And that was, I think it was in May. And it's the month where I actually came back to work after the, after the Corona. We were like quarantined for like a couple of months, I think. But then, uh, I could open again in I think the last week of April and there was a lot of clients at that time because like you could imagine that everyone is waiting for their lash technicians to open up again so they can get their lashes done and I was super busy and it was a very it was not that good for me to be honest I felt tired I had to work a lot and I couldn't sleep and yeah and then few I think weeks after I started having like um, my nose was completely stuffed and uh, also my throat I was like coughing a lot and I couldn't breathe at all at night so I basically wasn't sleeping it was really bad to the, uh, it was so bad we went to the doctor or well, before we went to the doctor I thought I had corona because I was working with a lot of people and I mean you never know who is being careful and who is not so I was kind of scared that I got the virus somehow so I went and I got tested and the test came negative so I was like uh, what is going on because I've never had any kind of allergies before and then when you read online like it says one of the pregnancy symptoms or whatever is that you get that like yeah you get that like stuffed nose and and all of that and I was like oh and I went to the doctor and they couldn't give me really any nasal spray that worked the only one that worked I couldn't use it 
so they gave me like salt water and yeah a lot of stuff that actually didn't do anything and then um, we went to Greece for the summer holiday we went to Greece for 10 days and the second day left home well our house like the second I left the house uh, all of this stuff with my nose and my throat disappeared and I had my kids with me because we when we go on vacation we drop them off at my mother-in-law so she can look after them so I had the kids with me at first I thought maybe it's Am I starting to be allergic to my own kids? Which would be really bad because I don't want that. I mean, I'm not gonna do anything about it. If I'm allergic to my kids, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. I'm not gonna throw my kids anywhere. Uh, but I don't like, but that wasn't really, it didn't really make sense because I've had my kids with me when we came back from the vacation. Uh, we spent a few days at my, parents in law with the with the kids and they had a dog and it was all fine until I found out is the glue that I'm using that I um, I kind of developed some sort of allergy to that glue it was a relief to actually know what's going on and not just be like very confused so yeah, now I'm done with my eyebrows. I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, to be honest. It's just like, I don't wanna do much. <laughs> I'm still tired. So it's just gonna be something very easy and very casual. Yeah, I still feel like, I still feel like I haven't been enjoying this pregnancy a lot it, i think it's mainly because of that uh, the nose and breathing problems i've had it was really bad and now we are still like we just like passed halfway to pregnancy so i think usually they say i don't know if i should believe in one they say but since it didn't really work for me so far they say that the second trimester should be the more relaxed trimester of the pregnancy and well I definitely feel better than I did like uh, the first few months uh, until my nose started like I feel better now because when it comes to energy I feel like I do have a tiny bit more energy than I did than I did the first three months or so but yeah I'm trying to really enjoy as much as possible I know it's it's the first pregnancy and it's different from one person to another you never know what to expect uh, so yeah I'm just gonna take it day by day I'm very right now I feel way way better than I did a couple months ago I'm really happy how I feel right now but I, at the same time I know I'm getting very close to the third trimester and that's also a trimester where there is a lot of uncomfortable situations uh, growing more and more uh, yeah, sleeping less and less and all of that and yeah I feel like uh, that was the journey of my pregnancy to be honest I've been tired and I've been not sleeping for months so yeah I'm done with my eyeliner right now and one of the things that also was a bit of a surprise during this pregnancy is the gender of the baby. For some reason we were very very prepared for having a girl. I think I think it's because I 
I've been talking about wanting a girl all the time. Uh, I was just like, yeah, it has to be a girl. One thing because so far we are just saying that we're not, we're only gonna have one child. So I was like, if it's gonna be one child, then I wish it's gonna be a girl because, you know, um, I mean, I have four sisters and I can see our relationship with my mom, how close we are. But at the same time, uh, maybe I don't seem like it, but I am a very, an extremely strict person. Like really strict. I don't want my kid to be drinking. I don't want my kid to be doing drugs or to be doing stuff they shouldn't be doing at a certain age but also like she could also have had strong personality i've never been influenced by anyone in my life so yeah but it's a boy but as i say as long as the baby is healthy i think that's what really matters of course you do have preferences to what you want how about like what you imagine having and how you imagine it being and, and, and everything but doesn't mean that if I wanted a boy uh, that that doesn't mean if I wanted a girl and I got a boy that I'm gonna be disappointed in any way it's just it's just a, something that I didn't think of especially when it comes to names we like we have prepared for like a girl name we found a name and yeah, everything was settled for a girl. <laughs> Got the room and the clothes. I decided to make like a uni, a unisex theme, which is like dark colors, you know, the uh, bohemian colors for the room and darks and whites and stuff like this. So it would work for both, either it was girl or boy, so no problem with that it's just like i think the thing that we struggled the most with was finding the name it was yeah and i had a requirement that the name has to start with an a so it was not easy but yeah we found the name so far so far we do have the name and i think it's a nice name we just have to be 100% sure about it and we are still open for whatever that like comes our way before the baby is born. We are almost done with the makeup. Yeah. My makeup is done. Ooh. As usual, <laughs> but yeah, who cares? I don't care anymore how my hair, how bad my hair looks. It's, okay, it's fine. But yeah, this is a very casual look. Nothing special. But yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, yeah, I will see you next time, bye!